Hey, what's up, everybody? We are live everywhere. Let me know when you can, when you're on, if you can hear and see me okay. While I get the rest of the world notified. When you're on, if you can. Hey, hear what's up? And see me. Where is okay. that coming from? But when you can, while I get the rest of the world notified. What the? When you're on. Can you hear and see me? Can you hear and see me? What the fuck is going on here? Can you hear and see me? What the fuck is going on here? There we go. Part of my language. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. Well, technical difficulties. <laughs> How's everybody going today? Uh, Craig says, good now. Andre says, you ever still repeat? That should be done now, but if not, let me know. Andre says, what's up, Chris? What's up, Andre? Keith says he can hear and see me now. Craig says, happens to the best of us. Apparently it happens to me too. I'm definitely not the best of us. <laughs> All right. So let's try this again. That was unfortunate. And I used a bad word. So now I can't monetize this. So how's everyone doing today? If you're on Instagram, you will notice that we have a different camera angle today because I found my Instagram, or not my Instagram, my iPhone tripod. So I can put it at a angle where you're not looking at up my nose or at the top of my dome. Just the little things I like to do for my friends. I'm a giver, that's just who I am. So, Today has been an adventure, but it's been a good one. I hope the same can be said for all of you or each of you, whichever is more appropriate. Just got to get the email sent out and paste the link in about 10 places. Andre says, doing great, thanks. How's your day? You know what? It's actually been a good day so far. It's, go it's gone by a little faster than, <coughs> excuse me, I would have cared for. But good things going down. We got some nice new, U some conversion optimization done at Legit, which is huge. We've, we're seeing a big impact from that sort of thing recently. I've been pumped about that. We've got some new advertising firing up. I got a webinar later in Superstar SEO Academy, which, by the way, Craig, welcome aboard. Uh, what else? What else did we do today? Uh, a couple meetings. They were eh, they were okay. Nothing special. I finished up uh, this month's SEO work for a client I signed last month who's already getting fantastic results. I pitched another potential client, and I'm going to pitch another one in between the end of this and tonight's live stream. So overall, I'd say it's a pretty slow day, but as far as tasks, but that's all good stuff. So I'm happy. So today we're testing to see if the 3 p.m. start time was actually helpful or if it was just a coincidence. Michael says, brilliant. Thank you, Michael, I, I think. Uh, 
<laughs> thank Craig says, thank you. Watching these for lives for weeks now. I figured I would get the Academy. Awesome. I'm glad to have you on board. You won't regret it. Show up tonight if you can uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern. And that'll be our bi-weekly Q&A webinar where we also do a lesson. Although this week we're going to focus on a new section that Jeff deployed this. Oh, well, I guess over the course of the last week or so that has to do with lead generation and ring partner and things like that. So Jim says, don't forget, we launched another website for the freelance fast lane happy hour, which is tomorrow's live stream. I will show you that as soon as I get done sharing around. Jim says that counts for today too. He's you're right because it was today in like all but two of the time zones in the world. So maybe three if you count Hawaii. Michael says 3 p.m. is perfect. Great, great. I think it makes the most sense because most of the East Coast, they're winding down their day. It's mid around lunchtime for the West Coast. It's not too late for the folks in the UK. And the only people that is inconvenient for maybe like India and Australia. So, but we still usually get, uh, what's his name? Brian, who's in Australia. Got a few folks on Instagram. What's up? Ladies and gentlemen, although so far, although I haven't done, I'm not done sharing yet, but so far, turn out not that great. So, that's okay. Jim is such a boss that he put together an entire website, domain purchase, SSL, the whole deal um, in less than an hour last night. Because that's what he does. Why doesn't FTT share the lives for you? It, it probably could. Uh, I also was using a tool called Live Leap for a while, but I'm finding that when I do, it, it hurts the reach. So I think that this is a better option as much as it sucks. The good thing is that like nobody shows up right away anyway. So like it gives me something to do in the early portions like this, you know? So it's got that going for it, which is nice. Does anybody know that reference? Jim says, I think we should have theme music playing for this part of the stream. I'm playing Eye of the Tiger in the background. You know, I actually did do music uh, one time on one of these and later Facebook muted it because it was copyrighted or whatever it is for music that you do. So that's why I don't do music. Because I, I, I thought about that before too, unless it's like original, of course. Charlene says, hey, I hear you're talking about me. Yes, I am. Very uh, excited about the results you got. Very if it's not cheesy to say, very proud of that. So yes, I am talking about you. I hope you didn't mind me tagging you before. I guess I probably should have asked first, but I don't know. I was I was pumped, jacked. Anthony, hey, what's up, Anthony? Anthony says, where's the fried fish? You know, I actually had fried fish for lunch today, believe it or not. So it's gone is the answer. <laughs> I feel like that was a joke I didn't get though. So I'm not quite sure what, what, you, what you were going for there. I can be awfully dense when it comes to such things or just really in general. Don't agree. Charlene says, I don't mind tagging at all. Feel free to do so anytime. Great, great. I'm glad to have team players, community members, people that people that are happy to show off what they do. But I have a feeling we're going to have a light one here today. So let me do a couple more shares that I just remembered. And then I'm going to show you the nifty new website for tomorrow's live stream and future freelancer Friday. That's not what I wanted. Whew. 
all your emails are about meeting up. You claim to share recipe. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I do that. People probably think I have an eating disorder or something, but I don't know. I just find it funny. I read somewhere once, and I don't know how much fact there is to it, because the source is literally somewhere I read once and can't even remember what, but the pictures or references to food help conversion. So and that's probably in there as well, because I'm really that much of a nerd. Do, 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 do. All right, let me see if I can find this URL, because... Let's face it, I'm in my 40s, and sometimes my memory's not so great. It's kidding. I have fantastic memory. I freak out Jim with it sometimes. Just got to grab the URL. <clears throat> Jim, or excuse me, John says, I'm proposing to my agency to begin buying links because we're primarily doing guest posting only. So I thought you'd appreciate that. Awesome, awesome, good for you. It, uh, I mean, you can still buy guest posts too, but like, I don't know their budget and things like that, but it just the time ROI is so much better than it is if you, you know, you're doing complete outreach, you know? So forgive my adjusting there. So let's bring this up on the screen. That nasty click ID crap that Facebook puts at the end of your URL. You can see we kept it, what's that expression? K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid. And I'll drop this in the chat. This is where tomorrow's live stream, which will be at 9 p.m. Eastern, because it was very successful last time, will be. and. I mean, there's not much to it. It'll direct you where to where to you can chat. This is freelancehappyhour.com. And it'll be live stream with Jim and myself where we'll do whatever we can do to help you get started or to scale. It was a big success last time. And I think it will be again this time. So, and you can check out the archive. Although it's going to look like I'm sleeping here. I swear to God, I wasn't. <laughs> so that was one we did about three weeks ago, I think, give or take. And it was a big success to help a lot of folks. So look out for that tomorrow at nine o'clock and give Jim a shout out for throwing this page, this site together in under an hour from literally from buying the domain to having it all set up. John says, yeah, I think I've been burned in the past and the time that goes into it for us client writing guest posts is losing money. It, it almost has to be, right? Let me stop sharing the screen. Because like it takes hours and hours and hours and tons of rejections and failures before you get anywhere. So Rich says, I just posted my first legit service yesterday. Short intro videos, maybe they're not that popular. I, I don't know about that. You want to drop me the link, uh, Rich? I'll, we'll be happy to take a look for you, see if we can give any suggestions or just, you know, get you a little bit of exposure. So drop the link for me and I'll show it here on live. And that's how a lot of folks are getting their first sales. So first of all, thanks. And by the way, thank you for jumping on that. The more the merrier. I have a video service that does fairly well. I used to do a logo and animated logos too. It just, uh, I don't have time for it. Cause I, uh, I have to do that myself. Well, I guess I could train Georgia to do it, but you can only sell I can, I was only getting like five bucks a pop for them back in the day. But so I just, I think I decided to kill it. Andre says, thanks, we'll check it out. Awesome, Andre, be, uh, be on the lookout for that tomorrow. It's posted on the legit page and literally anywhere you can find me, so. Aces, and I'll include it in tomorrow's weekly roundup. So yeah, lots of fun. Party and party and ho.
got to send a quick message here. Let's see. Andre, or excuse me, John's, I, man, I keep getting your name right. Your name's John. It's not like it's, anyway. Uh, I have a client with an exact match domain. When working with these, is it best to try and write the homepage for that keyword or go with an inside page for the rest of the search results? Yeah, I would do homepage for the EMD, for whatever the exact match is, and then just do inner pages like normal for the, the rest. Andre says, "Are you he's talking to Rich? Are you out? Are you creating the intro vid yourself, or are you outsourcing? I assume he's creating them himself because he's a freelancer. If you mean me, I was just using a program called Videos, where you stick in some text and a logo, and it does the work for you." Georgie says, "Did someone say Georgie? Yes, I did. Georgie, he's being funny. Well." as close as he gets to funny, but he, Georgia is the director of operations at legit. He also runs my entire legit services business. He's much better at it than I ever was. He's really a machine. So uh, this is the only time I'm ever nice to him, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, he's, he does a great job and I'm very, very fortunate to have him. We probably wouldn't have legit today if I still had to focus on my service business. So thank you to him for that. He did a live stream with me. I don't know, what about a year ago, maybe less? Kind of going over the processes he has for streamlining things and all this stuff. He also developed, a, I guess you'd call it a software that indexes, not indexes, but like it's like a database software that keeps track of all our PBNs and uh, like what client they go on has a link to what site, to which customer, to which order. It's very, very complex. It took him months to develop on his own. So, Boom. <clears throat> Craig says, would you recommend AREFs or SEMrush for a one-man agency with a single client? <sighs> I mean, it's just whatever you prefer. Overall, I prefer uh, AREFs of the two, but it's everybody has their preference. One's as good as the other, just depends on what you like. Georgia says, laugh out loud. Wow, I came here to say hi, not to get roasted. You didn't get roasted, man. I just spent like two minutes talking about what a great guy you are. See the respect I get? None. I get so little respect, Rodney Dangerfield would be like, dude, you don't get any respect. Man, that was a dated reference. Jim says, have to shout out to Amber Greening for writing some killer blog content for me today. Thank you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Rich drops the link to his service, so let's take a look. I almost said a look-see. I'm trying not to do that anymore, because that's weird. Shoo. Dunk a Jim says, have to shout out to Amber Green. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. All righty. Bring this up on the screen. Falling blocks, I catching blocks, I catching uh, falling blocks, I catching intro video, ten seconds. <laughs> Logo or image. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's look at another one. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of like a video game. Get this intro video and just provide a line of text. There are many variations of color. If you need a specific color, provide an image of the color. See extras if you have more. Yeah, I would punch up this the sales copy a little bit. 
make it a little bit more engaging. But overall, I think you've done everything you need to do here. You gave some example. You gave some kind of some clever thumbnails with you, you in them. I assume that's you looking at the camera. Let's take a look at your profile. I think you, you can probably sell some of these. I think they're kind of cool. Oh, you did a few of them. And your profile looks fine. It's a good profile picture and description of what you do. Might want to think about a brand name, but that's not a big deal. Let's see what this one looks like. I like the consistency in your thumbnails. Awesome. I think that you can, uh, I think there's definitely a market for this sort of thing. So yeah, great job. Be sure to share it on Monday and then on the roundup post in the legit Facebook group and to get a little bit of attention too. Craig says, where do you, do I find my Georgie? <laughs> well, you can't have mine. Um, I was, I got him through a referral through someone else I was working with at the time. So I don't know, to be honest. Amber says, thank you, Jim. Keith says, another shout out to Amber from me. She wrote two articles in like five hours. Amazing. Vasco says, hey, Chris, can you post a link for the live stream you did with Georgia? Sounded super interesting from that intro you just did. Sure. In fact, let's see if we can find it. Do, 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 do. And that's amazing. I was watching, I've been watching West Wing on Netflix. I haven't searched it or anything like that. And it's recommending West Wing on YouTube. Videos. And it was probably about a year ago, maybe not quite that long. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, do, do, do. So maybe this one. No. Kitchen agency. Uh, I'll have to figure. I'll have to find it. It's somewhere on my channel there. Rich says, thanks, Chris. Thank you, Rich. Thank you, Keith. Glad you like them. Keith says, only have those three available right now, but more coming. Awesome. Awesome. Good, good. The more, the merrier. <clears throat> I'll share it Monday, thanks. Jim says, that haircut back then, though. Man, don't. why you got to do that to me? You know that I want to get my haircut, and I, you know I can't. Now I'm sad. Thanks a lot, Jim. Everybody thank Jim. Uh, let's see. Uh, Georgia says, oh boy, I was really awkward in the interview. If you're looking for some great tips regarding motivation, work process and stuff, please send me a message instead. I'll gladly help you out. You weren't awkward at all. Get over it. Do, 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 do. I, I really don't remember where it is though. And I don't know exactly what to look for. So Georgia th says, thanks a lot, Jim the hell what are you i gave you like five minutes of I, I know i told everybody to thank jim but i don't mean you i gave you like five minutes of praise and you said i was roasting you no respect from these people you know and by these people i mean georgie got a few folks on instagram kaylee jade lisa 
Sanzerp. Michael says, thanks, Jim. <laughs> Amber says, Jim being the funny guy today. And I'm going to grab some water while the, there's a break in the questions. But now, for real, though, uh, he had some great information on and systems and how he manages all the orders. And he's really just a boss at that sort of thing. So absolutely worth your time to check it out. Keith says, I'd be interested in the mechanics behind fulfilling orders, et cetera, for clients. So if you can share and if it's not too secret, I'm going to leave that to Georgia. He can answer if he wants, uh, because I truth be told, I don't do it that much anymore. I only touch it about that sounded bad. I only touch the orders about, I don't know, once a, once a week. Or not once a week, about once a day for like a half hour while I answer some questions. It's possible to get some advice on my services as well, if this is possible. Certainly drop them in a link to uh, whatever ones you want me to look at in the chat, and we'll hit, it, hit them up. Hit it up. Take, look at them. That's weird. Uh, maybe it's not on YouTube. Hmm. Must have never put that one on YouTube, which means it's going up there later, Georgie. One more to look at, and then I give up. Oh God. Rich says after service jobs are approved, you edit when made take effect immediately after. You mean once they're approved, do the effect, the, uh, the edits take effect right afterwards? If so, yes. Jim's got the link, I bet that's a link to Georgie. Yeah, there it is. You're in luck, Georgie. We found it. So there's the link to it. I actually did remember the date, but I couldn't find it on YouTube. All right, we're live now. You seriously had to drop your your affiliate link, Stavros? Come on, man. <laughs> All right, let's bring that up on the screen for Stavros. Sure, screen. There's the Georgia video if you want, as Jim linked it, and uh, it's going to go on YouTube later whether he likes it or not. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at Stavros' service. I wonder why I didn't put that on YouTube. Snipe, map results from competitors. I like the thumbnail. It's very engaging. I'm just kidding, Cyrus. I don't care. It's an affiliate link. Please read carefully. The service will provide you with a list of competitor citations. Okay, so uh, visually it looks good. I don't like the way you're starting, though. It's kind of almost intimidating, and you're talking about what the service will do as opposed to the benefit to them. So I would talk about why they, the importance of citations and matching your competition rather than getting into what it'll do. So you will not receive a link with map pins on it. It's good to have this there, but you'll have to have it at the bottom, I think. What does this mean? It means you'll be able to outrank your... See, I don't know what you're doing here for me. So talk about the importance of knowing your... set Because basically this whole thing seems like a warning on why you shouldn't buy it as opposed to why they should. So reword this to be more about what the benefit of getting your competitor citations is. Because if I didn't know, I wouldn't know and I wouldn't buy this. So that's where I would start with that one. And there's another one. Let's 
to the great thumbnail all in one web services website. I'm not sure what, I mean, I think I know what you mean by that, but I would clarify that a little bit services website. I would say like niche website or niche local business site or something like that. I don't know what services website needs. The best website design package. I'll provide a complete website with specific number. I mean, this all looks fine. I would just, again, talk about the benefit to the customer of having a nicely designed website, you know? So there again, you're talking about the service as opposed to what's in it for them. That's what is important. You know, it's all about making the customer solving their problem. And this talks about what you give them and not why they need it. So I hope that makes sense. I think visually and, and like you've done, you've done things that you need to do. You just have other things that you need to do as far as explaining the benefit. But overall, I'd say you're in pretty good shape. Let me look at your profile while we're there. Picture of you, that's fine. Nice looking thumbnails. Professional services for from our great team. We're sure that you'll be more satisfied with our services for more information. And we've had, I would spice that up a little bit too. Other than that, you're pretty good. Uh, Craig says, did I miss the new service in the title? Not sure what you're talking about there. Keith says, Keith, or Georgie says, Keith Hawkins, sure. I'll drop you a message with some tips that come to mind after the stream. Awesome. Don't give away the farm, though. <laughs> Got to keep some, some stuff on the low. I'm just kidding. Keith says, thanks, Georgia. That would be great. Vasco says, thanks a million. You can't hide anymore, Georgia. You're a celebrity now. <laughs> All right, 32 minutes into this thing. Now we're cooking. Not literally cooking. Now we're doing well. I'm very stiff today. Stavros, oops, Stavros says, great, thanks a lot, Chris. Oh, a uh, brand new freelancer gets more work than she can handle. Yeah, let me just, uh, we talked about that yesterday, actually, but it was Charlene. So let's bring up that post. Yeah, yesterday, on yesterday's live stream, which unfortunately I had to delete because I realized afterwards that I shared some sensitive customer information in it. But Charlene here, who just joined earlier this week, says, my service exploding. Yes, I'm new on legit. Uh, but the minute I got the first order, thanks for tagging me in the new service thread, I onboarded three new clients, taking a break to take a breath nap. Oh, and I got a message today from one of her customers who specifically wanted to thank or not to thank me, but tell me what a good job she did too. So she literally signed up this week and now she's doing well. Very well to the point that she like was asking if we could limit the amount of orders she can accept at once. So Jim says, why do you think she's having the success she is? Um, she has a nice service she, that not a lot of folks are offering. She put herself out there. She has a nice looking service page. She, but, you know, to be perfectly fair, there was a certain amount of timing involved because someone literally asked that day for what she happened to offer. And then she did a great job and she followed up and she's been a presence. I think that's a big part of it. But the main things there are good service, putting in the work to get her name out there and uh, offering things that people need. So <clears throat> Waslist says, just joined. How is everyone doing? I can't speak for everyone because that would be rude, but I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. And how are you? Rich says, you mentioned Kung Fu. What style did do you practice? I did Northern Shaolin Lohan. It, our uh, system was called Lohan Shuan, which means enlightened fist. It uh, was 
big part of my life for a long time. In some ways, it still is. So, I mean, I'm, unfortunately, I can't do it anymore because the school is different now. But I definitely miss it a lot, and it was a big, big, in, big influence on me. So, <clears throat> all right, I'm caught up on questions. Let me grab some water here. And we got about 20 people on. Not as good a turnout as the last couple days, but that's okay. I absolutely blame Georgie for that. I'm sure he just rolled his eyes. It's kind of a running gag of ours. I blame him for everything. Let's see how Instagram's doing. Yeah. Pre Love Dichica. Paolo Newberger. Yeah, boy. Lorenzo Buttons and some others. Rich says, I studied Shaolin Lohan, Lohan Pei in St. Louis. Oh, awesome. Not totally familiar with that style, but it's probably very similar. Lohan is kind of like the original system or, you know, I mean, depends on who you believe, but that's cool. I, I, I very much miss it. <clears throat> It was also an internal side of it with the 18 Lohan and Qigong and Tai Chi. So Keith says, I think writing gigs, the writing gigs do well <laughs> as, it, as it's something you have to have a certain talent for and not many people like doing it. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Uh, I, I can actually be a pretty good writer when I'm motivated to write, but for the most part, I hate it too. Like I've written some, I think I've written some nice blog posts before, but for the most part, I can only do about one or two a year and have them really have the kind of quality that I like to deliver, you know? For the most part though, it's even if I, I, I think that people are just, it's, it's a talent for sure. You know, some people just aren't suited for it. Like Jim and I were talking about this recently, that, that, you know, you can't be good at everything and I'm not great at, I'm actually a pretty good writer. I just don't do it much. But I'm, what I'm not great is like visual stuff, you know, logos, graphics, that sort of thing. Uh, but you just have to know your strengths and use other people to fill in your weaknesses. That joke, Jim, has not been funny any of the times I've ever heard it. Charlene says, it's been my experience that many people cannot, can simply not write well. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Because it kind of goes into what I was just saying is that different people have different skill sets and that's just one that not a lot of people have, which is why you're able to charge, I guess you can say a premium for it, you know? Alrighty, alrighty, whatever. I don't even know what I was going for there. We are caught up again. Got 11 on, it's a little slow today. Got three on Instagram, five on YouTube, and 11 on Facebook. A little more evenly distributed than usual. But I didn't give as much notice either, so. I don't know. All right, guys, what else would you like to chit chat about today? Or do you want to just wrap it up? We can always do that too. I'm all about you. People often ask me about like your competition, my, you know, how do you do this for your competitors or whatever? And I'm like, I don't care about my competitors. I care about my customers. <laughs> Charlene says, I hope to raise my prices to a premium level. Must get better established on legit first though. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of part of it. In the beginning, you have to establish a little bit of credibility. A lot of people aren't willing to do that, you know. What's the best quote you've read recently? I don't read a lot. Um, hmm, I can't really think of one. I feel like you're setting me up for one that we've talked about, but I really can't think of one. Uh, what about you? Wasla says, new, no, don't stop it yet. Okay, fair play. But I don't want to sit here and ramble either, so keep it coming. 
Charlene says, most of the riders I follow charge $25 plus per email. I'll get there. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I, don't, I wouldn't find that outrageous at all, to be honest. I know some copywriters that charge, you know, 7K for like a five-day sequence or whatever. Like uh, Carlos Ridlick, I think I'm pronouncing that right. He, uh, I know he's quite expensive. Craig says, geotagging images still important for GMB. I still do it. I think it helps. Um, it's not like, it used to be a huge game changer. I don't think it is as much anymore. But yeah, it still helps. I still do it. It only takes a few minutes, if that, when you use a great tool like Image Meta. So it's still worth it, in my opinion. Like you can, even if it doesn't help with your GMB ranking, it will help rank the image. And that's just one more spot in the SERP that you get, you know? I love Image SEO, to be honest. It's really easy. All right, it's rain. We are caught up on questions again. So watch list, you better keep this party going. I'd love to know this. Since I now know your real name, I would love to know the story behind that username, by the way. Last list says, if you write a 3,500 word article for search engine, and then as soon as it ranks, change it to a 2,000 word article to sell, would Google significantly change it after assuming user metrics are good? Let me read that again. If you write a 3,500 word article for search engines, then as soon as it ranks, change it to a 2,000 word article to sell. Would Google significantly change it after assuming user metrics are good? I don't really think I understand what you're asking. I also don't understand why you would do that. Like if it ranked, why would you change the amount of words? So I don't really get, I don't know. I don't get, I don't get why you would do that. But yeah, changing the, um, the word count can definitely change the ranking. That's definitely a major factor. So I would, if it ranked at 3,500 words, I'd leave it alone. Jim says, failure defeats losers, failure inspires winners. Robert Kiyosaki. That's a good quote. I'm, I used to be a fan of his. I'm not so much anymore. He's been, he's been a little nutty because I, I follow him on Twitter. Um, and he's been a little nutty for the last few weeks. But that's a great quote. And I, I have learned some stuff from his book. So I can't bag on him too much. Will it change the rankings? You would do it to sell it, but I don't understand. I mean, I guess it's not for me to understand, but I don't know. If it's ranking, I would not reduce the word count. And if it's not converting with SEO content, then you need to just think about rewriting it some. There's definitely, it's not as easy, but there's definitely a way to write copy that will both rank and convert. So, well, we're about 45 minutes deep. Let's see if we got any questions anywhere else that I missed. Doesn't look like it. Alrighty. All right. Anything else, ladies and gentlemen? I'm here for you. But I also am running out of things to babble about, and I do have to do another webinar tonight. So Jim says, if you had to leave your house and never go back, what are the first three things you would bring with you? I don't know if they count as things, but I guess my cats would be number one. Uh, <laughs> number two would be 
a computer because I can make money with that. And I guess some clothes would be number three. So very utilitarian answer. If you're looking for more of a, what has sentimental value to me, again, the cat, uh, I don't know. I guess that I can't even think like that, to be honest. So yeah, I guess it'd be my cats, a computer and some clothes. Mohammed says one of my clients loses the ranking position after changing the theme. What do you think about that? What most likely happened is that the new theme changed some of the H tags and some of the content, or it could be, you want to check in the, like the SEO settings. It could be that it's set to no index some of the pages or some of the content or whatever. So you may want to check that. But my suspicion is you, cause it doesn't sound like it lost all the ranking. It sounded like it lost some. I would make sure that it didn't change the, the format change didn't change the H tags and the alt tags and things like that. That's probably what happened. If it's a theme change is the only variable that, cause obviously I don't know everything that happened, but that's my guess from the little bit of information I have. So like some themes will like by default put <coughs> the title on the page and then some will not. And that could be a kind of thing. So look for that sort of thing, Mohammed. After getting a haircut, what's well, the second thing you're going to do post quarantine? Uh, go to a restaurant. <laughs> I, I, I really miss going out to eat. I don't even go out to eat all that much, but uh, yeah, go to a restaurant. Do you have heard favicon that increases click through rate? I saw some people using this emoji lately and it's like the stop sign, I guess, or I guess it's like a red circle. I uh, you know I usually just go with branded one cause that's what real businesses do. If you have to rely on something like that to increase click through rate, you, you, uh, your service and your, your copy and things like that aren't good enough. One thing you can do that's a little sneaky though, if you're looking for that sort of thing is how can I show I guess I'll just bring it up on a notepad. Is this. Uh, so you can go one in parentheses. And then this is the title of this site. This isn't necessarily a, a favicon type of thing, but what that does, and let me go ahead and make that bigger. Yeah, can't see it because my phone is in the way. Here we go, format, font, 48. And what that makes it look like is there's a notification on it. You know how like when Facebook, they gives you an alert and then it puts like a little one or two or whatever it might make people think that there's an alert on the site and they're more likely to, to open it. So I have seen people do that and I, I can see why that would work. So that's a fun thing to do, but overall that's not a major factor. Most people, most sites just use the brand. And also a lot of emoticons got wiped out by a recent WordPress update, which is frustrating. Jim says, I've actually seen a lot of people changing the page title in the browser tab when you navigate away from it. A lot of people changing the page title in the browser tag when you interesting. I have not noticed that, but I'm going to keep an eye out for it now. You know, and this is an aside because there's nobody talking right now. Uh, one thing I hate is sites that block the back button, not like in the browser, but like you click the back button and it like redirects it right back to the page. So you can't leave it. I hate that crap. And I find that more and more often, especially on like affiliate sites, because affiliates tend to try to do sneaky things rather than do real marketing and business, you know? And that's one of the things that they tend to do to try to keep people on their site. Because they, they seem to be, that they think that they need to trick people into clicking on an affiliate link rather than just 
it's doing good sales copy that makes people want to click on the affiliate link. So Vasco says, interesting. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, Vasco. Jim says tab. Okay, so I've actually seen a lot of people changing the page title in the browser tab when you navigate away from it. Interesting. Go to this link and then click another tab. All right. I can't see it. And do, 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 do. Ooh, he's not mobile friendly. Maybe you mean it. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. I haven't noticed that before. That's awesome. I wonder how you do that. That's crazy. I'm, I really dig that. You guys see that? No? Because I'm not sharing the screen. Idiot. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> That's crazy. I've never noticed that before. Wow. That's really cool. I wonder how much that worked, how well that works. Last list says, yeah, or are you sure you want to leave or site where you haven't typed anything else? Like the site is just spammy. Yeah, I don't like that. Georgia says, huh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, we got about eight minutes left before we call it a day. Instagram's been a little slow today. That's disappointing. I thought I was making some progress there. And I have uh, like a whole new camera angle for Instagram. Really stiff today. So it's a bit disappointing. Right, right, right. We're probably going to wrap up in the next couple minutes. MK says, Chris, I wanted to say thank you to all the legit team, especially Chris. I've completed my first $1,000 on legit with just only one service. I'll be adding more services soon. Thank you, Chris, for all the fantastic content you've offered for free. Proud to be a seller at legit. No, that's awesome. That really makes my day. Thank you very much. You're doing very well. I know exactly who you are. You're lazy local SEO, right? You do a great job. You've gotten some great reviews, and I'm glad to see you doing well and can't wait to see how far you go. So thanks for the kind words, but more importantly, thank you for doing a great job for our and your customers. And I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to screenshot that. <laughs> oh, let me get it with not me looking my mouth open like a moron. Just to show you how awesome Georgie is, this is something he does for me too, is whenever we get a testimonial or like something nice that someone says about us, he keeps them organized and together so we can look at, look at them later and use them later. And I'm sharing that with him right now. So thank you for the kind words. Really appreciate that. I'm sure Jim does too. And so does everybody. Wasliss says, well done, MK. Wasliss, you're off to a pretty good start, too, as far as I can tell. That, that's awesome. That, that makes my day. Makes the, uh, the sleepless nights when stuff's not working seem worth it. Because there, are, this may seem like all fun and live streams and sales and money and techniques and all that stuff. But sometimes running a business this with this many people sucks. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There are problems that come up, things you have to monitor, things that are out of your control, people that are trying to, whether they mean it or not, trying to bring you down that will impact your business, people that do scummy things. And then there's just, you know, things, technical problems outside of your control. And sometimes it just, it is not fun. Uh, but stuff like that makes it all worthwhile. So thank you. Wasla says, yeah, almost $100 in the first week. Glorious. You're getting screenshotted too. Wasla 
Lossist is actually doing a service for me and he's doing a great job with it. Jim says, here is a quick tutorial on how to change the tab title when someone goes idle. Hey, that rhymed. How to change the tab title when someone goes idle. Hongkyat.com slash blog slash don't go favicon title. There you go. That's a very helpful resource. Thank you, Jim. I am definitely going to implement that on some of my sites because I think it's cool. And it's the kind of thing that get, makes for good content. So there's that too. Last list says, yay, I'm famous. <laughs> Fame's not all it's cracked up to be. Believe me. Well, don't believe me. I'm not famous, but I know I actually do know a couple famous people, and it sucks. I won't go on a whole tangent. I was about to go into some of the things that <laughs> some of the like letters that this congressman that I used to work for got that were just, ugh. but we'll we'll get away from that. All right, guys, three and a half minutes left. So any last minute topics, questions, conversations, thoughts, ways to make fun of Georgie, whatever you want to do. Always up for a good Georgie joke. You know, we haven't done a dad joke yet. Here's a site that geotags multiple images at once, the exifer.net slash geotags. Awesome, great share, thank you. Now let's do a dad joke. If, before we get into the dad joke though, one thing that, you know, I, I came back to my office this week and for, for some reason there was music coming from my printer. Turns out the paper was jamming. Ding! Thank you, I'm here all week. Come see the seven o'clock show, it's totally different. <laughs> Georgia says, oh no, make fun of me, no more dad jokes. Wow, wow, now that hurts. Right here, that hurts. That caused me physical pain. Thanks a lot, Georgie. Thought we were cool. You know, I don't make fun of you. <laughs> You can see this is just some of the camaraderie that takes place between the legit team. No one's allowed to make fun of me, though, because I have a fragile ego. That's a joke. See, because the paper was jamming. It's jamming and music. And you guys are no fun. All right, Instagram, we're going to have to wrap it up. Not that anybody's even on, but we'll see you tomorrow, Instagram. We got a couple minutes left on Facebook and YouTube, though. But I'm running out of things to say, so if anybody has any last-minute words, let's slide them in now. Going once, going twice. All right, let's wrap it up, guys. As usual, great session. Having a blast doing these. Glad to hear everybody's doing well. Love seeing the success stories. Tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern, join Jim and I at, uh, what is it, freelancing? Man. Freelancinghappyhour.com. And we're going to talk specifically about freelancing topics, how to start how you can grow with it. If you're a customer, things that you can look out for. It's not just for the freelancers, but things that you can look out for, how to screen services, how to find the things that you need, and so on. So join us tomorrow at 9 p.m. at freelancehappyhour.com or on Facebook or YouTube if you prefer. And that's all I got for you today. Thanks for showing up as usual. Talk to you tomorrow. And most importantly, figure out what you want out of life and go out and get it because you owe it to yourself and you owe it to the world. See you again tomorrow. Take care.